From a glimpse of a past generation to a sight and sound representative of the present age, a recording session. Life proving all my devotion to Record enthusiasts will have recognized the voice as that of rapidly rising young singing star Peter Elliott, and in the orchestral backing, the distinctive touch of musical director composer Tony Osborne. But while Elliott's name is still comparatively new to show business, it's quite famous in another sphere the world of sport. Not so long ago, Peter was British springboard diving champion, and today every spare moment is spent at pools like Roehampton here. The pleasant uh, scenery, by the way, are showgirls and dancers from London's Pigalle, where Peter sings at night. Although he naturally hasn't time these days for the exhaustive training necessary to consistently maintain top international standards, Peter nevertheless still takes his diving seriously and many experts believe that with a short, intensive training spell, he could still beat the world's best divers. His coach, since the age of 12 incidentally, is the great Sid Dalton. For the record, Peter became British springboard champion in 1948 at the age of 16 and represented Great Britain in the Olympic Games that year. And with spectacular and precision-like dives, like this forward one and a half somersaults with double twist, he went on to take the national springboard title in 1949, 50 and 52, besides other successes before entering show business. Notice that despite his experience and success as a diver, Peter's still willing to take advice from his old coach. Perhaps that's because his prowess is still very much in demand at exhibitions and aqua shows. Now let's watch a few typical competition dives. half speed, that graceful action is even more apparent. From high diver to pop singer, and if you ever wondered what the teenage fans mean by the expression real cool when they're talking about a singer, at least you know how this one cools off. 